I also got a puzzle because you know your girl loves puzzles. Seven fifty is just my mm, chef's kiss ideal size, and this one has cats and fish. Oh my god! Look how cute! Look how cute the cats and the fish are. So I'm beyond excited to do that. Let me just say, oh my gosh, everything's falling everywhere. And then I got this coexist sticker. I am a huge fan of coexist and there's a bunch of different kinds of stickers. And this one has a yin yang sign and I'm very excited about it. Then I also got a cat who book. Oh my gosh. So this is my favorite series is Lillian Jackson Braun. I think is how you say her name. Fortunately, she is no longer living, so she's not writing anymore, but this is one that I haven't read yet. And this was bought secondhand and it looks incredible. So I'm so excited <laughs> to read that one. Although I am reading them in order and that one was like the last one I think that she ever wrote. So it's going to take me a while to get there, but we're getting there slowly. This my dad made and stay tuned because it might become an upcycle design so this is going to be wall art so we're going to use command strips and pop this puppy on the wall and i'm so excited <laughs> and then another really cool thing that my dad made is dun 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 Dun, dun, dun. it's got a lot of glare but my dad wanted to do this sampler type thing but then the lgbtq is basically pride colors and he had this idea and he executed it and he really really wanted to do this and it did turn out pretty cute it's like an old time sampler and then the lgbtq is rainbow how freaking cute is that and then the crime of the crop or whatever that saying is i don't know was I got a Kindle for my birthday. I am so freaking excited. So I am reading so much and I've been reading a lot on my phone, but your phone has, you know, blue light. And then I'm also getting all these other notifications and it's just like not the most enjoyable experience. So your girl asked for a Kindle for her birthday and I got one. This was also a book that my friend got me for my birthday. So I've been reading it. Thank you, Hunter. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. Let me show you around my Kindle. This is how the screen looks and it's all basically black and white so that the screen acts like it has no blue light. So it's like looking at basically a book is what they say. So that's super fun. You can also do dark mode, which it was just on, but this is great for reading like at night when you don't wanna, you know, bother your eyes. You can also change the brightness and you can change the warmth as well. It's so cute. And so, <laughs> yeah, I have been downloading so many books on this puppy. So yeah, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of books. And the battery life has been incredible so far. I've only charged it once and we're still at 43% which is absolutely wild. So I'm really enjoying that actually because it is pretty easy to hold. I'll insert the name of the exact one that I got here, but yeah, it's like pretty easy to hold and it's just, it's actually easier than holding a book because books you have to hold open. <laughs> and I enjoy books that are absolutely massive. So, <laughs> so yeah, I've really, really been enjoying that. I actually got that early. My mom gave it to me early and so I've been enjoying that for the past couple of weeks. Surprise, you didn't know about it. So anyway, I'm honestly feeling pretty good today. I think the meds might have just made me super sick last week and then reset my system and then this weekend. I thought that maybe it was just because I wasn't working this weekend, but I think it might be because I actually feel better. I cannot get over this little spot right here. I just cannot stop staring. <laughs> so anyway, I also just had a meeting, so I'm like super energetic because I'm like, adrenaline rushy but that's fine so anyway i just wanted to share and i will continue giving you kindle updates as i use it more and see if i really do like it but so far it is really nice to not need wi-fi to read books and also to not have blue light and to just have something that's like easy to hold because i have shoulder issues i have elbow issues and i have wrist issues so holding a book open for a long period of time especially if it's not paperback, is exhausting. <laughs> so yeah, 
really really enjoying this and very excited for what is to come this week we have a really fun full week planned and this is my first week of posting a ton of content every single day every single day i'm posting content so i'll give you updates and see how we go but yeah so i had a meeting with the blog team today drop cycle and i've been working on my monthly newsletter because today is august 1st and then i'm also doing two social calls later which i'm like say to catch up with some peeps so yeah all right i am hungry so i'm gonna go eat lunch okay bye all right so day three of wearing my hair down and i think i'm getting a hang of it <laughs> i definitely still fool with my hair a lot but i think we're i think we're working on it it is just crazy that i have had long hair for a couple years now i did have short hair for a really long time there but i've had long hair for a while and i just never have felt comfortable having it down and i think the key is that you need to tease it out while it's drying and i never do that and then it's too late <laughs> i also am not feeling well today so like look at how splotchy my skin is and it's just not we're not feeling healthy today, unfortunately, but yeah. So I didn't sleep well the night before, and then yesterday I did so much work and got caught up in a lot, which felt great, but then I crashed out last night, and I think my body wanted to sleep in, and I didn't today, and so yeah, we're not looking great. We're very puffy-faced, unfortunately, and I think also having my hair down makes my face look puffier. <laughs> or that could just be like the meds or or whatever so yeah so i am still taking an up an up dose an increased dose of this med for my breathing issues and my chest pain and for my autonomic nervous system and so far it's been pretty good last week i was super sick this week i've started to feel better on it but my doctor's like you need to make sure you're continuously moving on this med so yeah I'm just trying to get some like Fitbit steps in, steps, but it does get the blood pumping in my body, so that's really good. But yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So I'm so excited. Tonight, I am the spotlight for my Great Dames Delaware Mastermind group. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually, let me show you, it's actually gonna do some of the and. So this is the healing edition and they have really good questions like, what do you think you should let go of and why? So I think for my spotlight tonight, I would like to facilitate kind of a deeper conversation with my fellow great dames in that group. And I'm very excited. So yes, I've been prepping for that. And I also had a great conversation with my friend Brian. So I met Brian maybe four years ago, I think we decided at a next gen conference in New York. He's in DC. And so we have stayed in touch kind of off and on throughout those years. We actually had met twice at next gen the first year. And then the second year we reconnected. So it's really great to reconnect with him as well. And I've been actively trying to kind of catch up with people and, and try to put people first, but I can only have three calls a day with my health the way that it is. And so that's tough because that, you know, when I do that, then that's one of my, my three calls for the day. So anyway, yeah, that has been very good today and very exciting news i was just asked well upcycle design was just asked to be a community partner for the blue hen leadership program their tier two which i am now a graduate of that program it's crazy to say but this last year i graduated so tier two usually works with nonprofits, but this year they're opening it up to llc's startups social ventures that type of stuff so they asked upcycle to be a community partner for tier three and provide a project for their tier sorry tier three i meant tier two for their tier two students so yeah we're gonna be a community partner which i'm so excited about so i have never been one obviously before so I'm not sure exactly what the process will look like, but I'm very, very excited for that because it's a full, a full year program. So yeah, super, super exciting news. And ah, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so freaking excited. Let me also show you something super exciting. All right. So I'm so excited to show you my bonus presentation. So I'm a bonus speaker for the Mill Summit and it is up and it is ready to be viewed. So let me just show you the intro because I'm so excited. Here it is.
everyone, my name is Sierra And that's me. I'm so excited. One person can make an impact and all you need to do is take the first step. And here is my bio. I'm so excited. So yes, there we go. It's so exciting to be a speaker at the Mills Summit this year because that is just my favorite, favorite conference and is going on right now. So yes, in between my meetings and work and stuff, I have been popping on some sessions and it's been amazing to see the other speakers and stuff. So yeah, great, great day. All right, let me get back to work.